Alright, Hydrogen HHO Torch. Let's get fired up. I'm going to do a quick brace job on some heavy metal. For those of you guys that do welding and brazing, you know what I'm talking about. It's going to take quite a bit of heat just to get that metal going red hot, just so I can get this braze rod melted. Alright, let's get this going. We're going to go doing four batteries. It's going to give us 48 volts. These batteries are a little old and weak, so we're probably running right about 38 volts, so no big deal. I'm going to do a lot of amps. Uh, here we go. Watch out. <clears throat> Try not to blow yourselves up. Oh, here we go. We're going to get this guy going right up uh, high amps. I'm going to get it right up about 10 PSI. It's not going to take very long at all. Here we go. Somehow I've lost my rod. Oh, there it is. On it. I'm going to put down that pressure over there. I'm just going to do a quick brace job here. Just some pieces of metal. Uh, they're fairly thick. Yeah. I'm going to that ain't pimp. I'm going to take the brace at the same time. Just, uh, So quickly melt this here. Oh yeah, it's melting. Now I'm not a welder by trade by no means. I suck at this. But I'm just trying to see if it actually does work. I know I've used it before, so it does work. I'm just like piling up on the metal and trying to use more heat out of it. And I don't want to keep my own the same time as you, but... You know, we don't want to blow up over here. No, we don't. So I'm not going to blow up. We are dealing with hydrogen and oxygen, so... You're be at, careful, folks. You're at 28. Where am I at? 28. I'm at 28 pounds? No. No. I'm trying to look over here oh, at, the at the pressure, not the voltage. Uh, no, you're at the time. Alright, Holly's not good at welding all the end, so you got to work with me here. Uh, you get what I mean I do help some welders in the family, but none of them are here right now. So if you guys are looking, Justin and Tyler, uh, check this one out. I know you guys are going to like this one. And you can make yourself one of these. So a couple of Paul's going to help you out. And uh, you can have all kinds of welders. Love that color. Yep, we got a cool little green going on yeah. here. Very pretty. I'm losing my pressure here. Uh, uh, no, not really. Well, you're at nine. I don't know. I'm just trying to stop here. Yeah, I know. I'm not a professional welder, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm still out here trying to make something happen. What kind of pressure are we running at over here? All right, I just want to make sure we don't stop blowing hoses out. Uh, it will. This horse has got a pretty big tip on it. Uh, as you can see, you can get the point. Uh, my pressure right now is, we're in right about 5 PSI, not too bad. Voltage is getting low right now, we're down to 29 volts, 29.38 uh, right now at the moment. We're having some battery problems, but if you get your voltages up, you'll be able to have a system of even three cells, all three cells are 21 cells a piece, uh, 21 plates should I say. 
Uh, if you divide it to 48 volts, you're going to have no problem maintaining a good amount of 10 psi pressure to do bracing work with. Uh, you do have to modify the inside of this pipe by putting some uh, stuffing it up with some uh, bronze wool or stainless steel wool, as long as it's uh, resistant to corrosion. Other than that, not too bad. Happy HHO testing, everybody. Holly's out.